at first, I, I really wanted to do something with verticality. In my head, I had this kind of down and then up end type of flow. But the, the very first thing I found as soon as I got in there is that it, you really couldn't do a whole lot of vert verticality. It was really meant to be, you know, the side-scrolling platformer. So you were pretty locked in terms of uh, three or four additional uh, kind of camera moves in the, the vertical space. So I then started doing the kind of um, up and down. Have fun. Pretty <laughs> hard. Oh, nicely done. I had no idea, and it's really freaking cool, that, that the whole combination of different elements from, from the actual tool set actually creates different things, and that was a lot of fun, right? So then, so then it was this whole notion of, okay, well, what happens when you add uh, the springs to the, the, the bullet bills, and then it's like, okay, I think we got something. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, missile mania. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way I usually approach at least level design, maybe not game design overall, but level design is that there's this kind of flow about the whole thing, right? There, there's an intro, there's kind of like these verses, there's chorus, you know, thing, and, and it, it, it has this repetition, right? And you have this, this kind of pacing around that, right? Um, you have high points, you have low points, you have climaxes, that sort of thing, and then rest and relaxation and that sort of, uh, so it's very musical. You know, jazz is all about improvisation, right? And <laughs> the dynamicism of this level definitely gets you to, you have to improvise, improvise your moves, you can't just like kind of remember certain things. It's a circus of missiles and <laughs> projectiles coming at you. We really think it's important, and I think it's important that uh, games have a flow, and you know, they have a hook, right? So it's like, it's just like, again, with a hit song. You think about the hook, and then it's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build this beautiful song around this hook. And it's just how we create games, right? It's like, oh, this is the hook. We're gonna create the game around it. They create this whole experience around it. You build on it, you layer on it. And then, and then oh, the meta is this. And, and that's like the themes of the song. Game design is a very organic thing. And, you know, we'll try ideas. And then sometimes it'll, you know, the result of that will be the actual reverse of what we thought it'll be. Yeah, some consistency around mm -hmm. here might just like because if you fall, then it's your fault. But like right now, it's just like I well, like that. I like that. No, that's it's I mean, a good it's a good pacing note. That's that, that's actually a really good idea. It, it took me a while to actually just think about how this level was going to work, just the theme of it, and then you know it was one of those great things where Keiichi was just saying like, hey, you know, you should have something that kind of has an, an easier intro into into the whole level because you just kind of go right into it, and so that really helped because then. You know, we, we started adding a, a number of those initial platforms to just kind of help you ease into the whole experience. You see what's going on with the bullet bills and the springs. And then the whole notion of the power up at the end was, or close to the end, really kind of had the, you know, the progression of both difficulty and knowledge about what was going on in the level with this kind of reward of, of the sort of climax of the level. And then it's sort of the releases as you, as you just kind of use those power ups and finish it. Yeah. Oh! <laughs>